Hi there, what's up? And it's Vishal from my wave. And in this video, you are going to work on this front end validation of this user registration page. So when I click on this register button, so as you can see, we got some error message of every age fields. Okay, when I put my put some value at, at here, Vishal. I mean, all here. When I click, click on this register, my both error message is gone. And as, as you can see, also we have a, a front end evolution as in my checkbox. When I click on checkbox and I click on register, that error message is also gone. So, how can you do that using jQuery? Let's see. So, I'm going back to my code editor and I, create, I take an ID in of this form. So, I write my I take attribute as the ID and I assign a name uh, which is the registration. Is the registration form okay my bad okay I, I i use a camel case for the now so just copy this id and going back to my script tag okay i'm i'm in the other bottom of this page i start my script and a script i create a selector sorry before creating a selector you need to start your jquery code for starting your jquery code you just need to define this line that will define a document and uh, you need to prepare this for preparing preparing this page i mean dom implementation you need to this thing as you can see jquery.ready handler and you can use the all the alias of uh, every jquery functions so i just run run a function okay and that's it now i create a comment create function for user registration okay now after that i create a selector and i i already take a id so i assign with the hashtag hash key and dot on so as you can see in my button i take a type which is the submit okay so i need to define it here as a submit so submit and after that i i start my function and i take a event Sorry, uh, I'm in the a uh, event argument. Okay, and then I just print a line, which is the okay before running my cons. Uh, okay, let's print the console. This is for user registration. Okay, okay, and now I'm going going back to my page and just refresh this page. And I also open my console log and when I reset this page and I click on this register, as you can see, it's moved to the user registration underscore external PHP file, but I don't need it to move this page directly. Okay. So for, for this, for these things, we need to prevent this from this handling. So that's why I'm using this event parameter. So for this presentation, I just use the event dot prevent by default. Okay. Change the line and start from here. Okay, cool. Now just save and check in the browser again as you refresh this page and I reset and click on this register. As you can see, I got user registration. Okay, uh, do you know why I'm using always click on this uh, reset button when I re refresh this page? It's it, it takes some value by default from in the email field. And when I click on this register, it requires for the uh, direct. Okay, so and I and when I take this and direct email and whatever like this okay when I click on this register I again got a console console message in at here okay so I just remove this line and now I start my front end validation front end validation okay okay after that and and uh, I need to all all the input fields into a variable because I, I I want to assign all the IDs like this as you can see I already take this ID for for my uh, initialization of this air input field. Okay, so I just take a variable like I just use the const mm, fields equals to and I take into a object. Okay, so with the first underscore name 
let's see as you see we had this first name so let's copy this in my clipboard email okay i will I just, this is enough for now fill name colon and then i click a selector with the hash and uh, as you can see it went first name and, and you can also take the value right here okay and let's copy this multiple times and just replace this with my copied key id name okay and last name the email sorry email okay and what is the other thing we have email after this after this we have mobile password and also the confirmed password okay this change with my mobile also it here mm, password is my password confirm password and confirm password i'm just going go change the line and print this print this field variable into a console so console console dot log and just take this field save and yeah just save and check in the browser refresh now click on register it's ask for the email id for these things i write data vishal or uh, vishal and direct gmail.com a random number a random password like the pass i get one two three pass i direct one two three and click on this register as you can see we got we got all, all the input fields value i mean the fields value as a object at here okay i just i just come in this line for the now we will we will work on later okay also one more thing uh, we don't forget to check this uh, input type checkbox so i just take this idea of this input terms okay and also take the well, put this at terms and here we have this terms okay now okay and then i take a variable this is the valid or initialize as initialize a local variable which is true okay and taking the const and the const with the errors okay i take a blank object because uh initialize errors variable like mm, variable for store your messages sorry your error messages okay that's what, that that will be fine uh yeah that's good mm, yeah okay after that I need to check my uh, let's start with the first name so I start with the name if fields dot first name okay let's start with the first name dot trim okay I use a trim function equals to triple equals to blank otherwise you can also use the double double equals to but I take triple equals to okay and run and use the valid false okay so i just assign my well false value into my valid because if, if i got a blank empty name first name then my valid variable is i defined as a false so, and then i can start with my putting my first name like the errors dot first name underscore error equals to and i put my um uh, error message like the first name is required 
okay okay then after that how can you see see the front end validation errors in my console okay so if my valid equals to false uh, otherwise you can use also with the ex expression mark so i use the expression mark it's mean that it's boolean false if it's not valid then uh, let's see console dot log errors okay errors save and check in the browser again refresh okay so i reset this button and this register as you can see the first name is required and when i click on this button and i click on this register i got nothing like when i reset this page and refresh i mean refresh and reset and i take a visual and i click on this register i got nothing but when i remove this line and i click on this register as you can see we got this my message in the ob as an object so how can you how can you print this error message as at here or at here we'll discuss about it in a little so let's start with my another input fields so i just copy this copy this line i just paste it over here here yeah okay this is enough okay just copy this last name mm, yeah okay, replace with this and this is for the last name third one is email that i have the email this is for my email email underscore error and this is for email is required after that my mobile okay so i just copy okay i don't need to copy just type i'm typing it here that mobile this is for mobile underscore error and the fill name will be mobile number is required also check the password okay the fills that password if it's empty then we got the password error so password field is required okay let's see let's save and check in the browser i see refer this page and check in the register okay it's asking for the write a, a direct but before but before that i just reset this all the page and I click on this register okay this is not a, this is a password and save and check in the browser again i said click on the reset check in the console click on the register now as you can see we have this email is required first name is required last name is required okay and when i click on this visual and i click on this register this time i only get this email error last name error mobile error and password error okay one more thing uh, i also need a, a confirmation password so here we have this confirm password Mm, yeah the confirm password field is field is also required and also take a else a function for the now for matching both my both in uh, both uh, password fields so if fields the confirm password is not equal to my Fields dot password then I will display like the both path like okay let me copy this line like the password do not match so at here okay I put this into confirm underscore password error underscore error also mm, yeah password do not match the password do not match okay 
and yeah let's go let's see save and save and check in the browser click on this reset click on this register as you can see we got, we got confirmed password field is required email, email is required everything is required and i click put select into the visual and more and when i click on this register, register again i again got an error message right here when the confirmed password error confirmed password field is required email error mobile error password error now i'm putting my email so email it here and password also and also putting my number okay and i type the paws and one two three and in this confirm confirmation password i only take the paws like the different pass word okay and i click on register as you can see we got an error message which is showing us the confirmed password error the password do not match okay going back to my code editor and put a dot at here in this line okay what is the next thing we need to do i need to display all this error message into on my this user user registration form and and but i don't want to display like this, some random like this as a list or something like this i want to display them into at uh, like here at, at just like my product form okay okay as you can see when i click on this save the product name is required as you can see so the same as this things i i also i want to show this error message at here also just look that look like product form so how can i do that and so i'm going back to my code editor and the form and i'm going to, going to my forms and here we have this my input okay i take a div class which is a div sorry uh I take a text danger text danger class and I, and I put a id okay for making this so making it as in a sort i just i just want to take all these things as just like this uh, this error messages so i just copy this errors dot uh, first name underscore error and i paste it over here okay okay i just copy this line and paste it after this a uh, last name also and change the id name which is the last okay after that I change this line again which is the email email after that this is for mobile sorry this is for password after that um, yeah this line okay let's copy this and paste it over here okay and it's going down up this my page after that i take a for loop for the now because of that i as you can see in my console message I mean, my in my console panel, I stored the, stored all the error message into object, and for accept, I, I mean, the read every single single object key, you need to use a for loop. Okay, so I'm using a for loop, and let take with the const, and define and initialize my const as a, uh, as a key and value of errors so i use a special magic method which is the object object dot entries okay of this object entries of this error okay and let's see what we got so i just take console dot log and i just just enter the key okay so i just print this key value at here so key name i put a string message at here key name comma save now click on this browse refresh this page now click on the register it's asking for the direct mail.com okay let's reset this page and click on the register as you see 
we got, got this key name at here the first name error last name error er, email error mobile error password and confirm password error at every time okay so i just come in this line for the now okay and when you take a look on my font tag as you can see where i sign i'm i'm not take a test danger dave as you see uh, my id also id name is matched with our error message so i just need to take a selector of every id so i take a selector with the key so dollar and uh, dash plus what we need to print this key because all all the key name is matched with our id so i just I take key dot html and there and then and then I put my value at here let's just save and check in the browser refresh click on this reset and when I click on the register as you can see we beautifully got my error message at here when I type the Vishal when I click on this, click on this register it's not going okay why because after this, we need to return it as a blank. Save and refresh. And now click on the register. It's asking for, okay, let's reset this whole thing. Now click on the register again. And right now take in my name. And I click on, click on this register. It's not working. Why? Okay, why it's not cleared? Okay. Mm, okay, Let, let's do one thing. Uh, at the top of the page, I mean, yeah, yeah, here I take a create a comment, clear all previous, sorry, uh, previous errors, okay, and take a selector, which is my text danger, because I, I take class which is the text danger, as you can see at here, so I just copy this text danger. This is the class of the bootstrap and dot html blank. So it's mean that every every initialization of every time when I run this function, my all the fields will be empty. Okay, just save and check in the browser again. Click on the reset and click on the register. Yeah, we shall and click on the register. Okay, my the, my first error is gone. More uh, click on register, it's it's gone. Okay. Click on click on register. Confirm password field is required when I ran, take take a random uh, password. Click on when I click on register. Password do not match. So I take a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. When I click on click on this register, all is working fine. Okay, one more thing. I'm again able to click on the register without checking this in uh, checkbox. So how can you do it? Do that also. So let's let's do it in my code. I'm going going on top of the page. As you can see at right here, here we have this my terms. So I'm going down and tick the if my fields dot uh, which which one was that so terms right okay yeah this is my terms so if my field terms field is not checked so i'm checking with this is checked okay not this one check mm, okay if it's not okay then I will display a message at right here, which is the terms. I, what will the message message will should look like? Uh, you must, you must uh, agree with terms and condition let's see uh yeah terms and conditions okay terms error so i 
just copy this line and paste it over here terms underscore error let's see refresh reset okay fills dot terms not is not a function okay let's go back to my page and check my variables okay i don't need to take this variable at here now okay let's save and refresh now reset register you see you must agree with terms and conditions also okay so as you can see you must agree with terms and condition so when i click check this box and I click on this register this it's gone and my other uh, errors is showing is still there so in the next video we'll work on the back end part of this user registration page so say, say with me happy coding <laughs>